Hey guys, welcome to another micro lesson. And whether you're a pro designer or you're just a beginner, being able to master design spacing is going to make or break your layout. Today, I will show you how to master a few spacing techniques that are going to help you to take your web design skills to the next level. To do this, I'm going to show you over in Figma how we're going to be working with a design that we're currently building right now. And I'm also going to show you a few examples so that you can see how different industries are using spacing to be able to either create a luxurious feeling or in tech, you will see the, how they're using spacing to be able to sell their products. So let's go over to Figma. Okay, so now that we are in Figma, I have created a concept that we are going to be improving um, with or by adding spacing to it, making sure that we have proper hierarchy and making sure that we are grouping elements that belong together. And that's pretty much why you need to create a spacing system whenever you're designing a website a product or even marketing materi materials like an Instagram post, a story, or anything like that. So let's take a look at this one first, right? So this one, if you just look at it, you're able to tell what this website is about. Um, you see that they do uh, something related to project management. You can see that there's sort of like a sale. You can see that they have, uh, you can get started for free. You can see this here but everything right now here is quite close together. So you're not able to tell what's more important, what's less important, and what you should be doing next. Actually, you most likely have probably even missed that it says that there's a seven day free trial, right? And that is because everything is just very close together in a very tight gap. And um, when we're talking about spacing of elements like this, we are going to be using the word gap quite often because it's just, it, a gap is just a space between elements, right? But what you need to make sure to do is that not every element on your web design needs to have the same gap spacing because they may not belong together. And that's what we're going to be working through here. So we have this starting point here and now we want to improve this. So we're going to be moving over to this one. Now on this one, we were able to sort of separate a bit more the content versus the image that we have, right? And that I think made a bit of a difference because now we're able to see um, maybe this headline a lot better. But all this, to me at least, it gets missing because it's difficult to be able to see or for me to read stuff when everything is just so close together, right? But the spacing between this and this is now better because it's separated. You can now digest this a little bit better and then you're going to see this and you also get to see the navigation, right? So this, to, this option is better than this one, but it still needs a lot of work. So what we want to do next is that we want to take a look at the complete opposite of this side. So this one, everything was very close together. And now on this one, we have separated everything quite by a lot, right? So the gaps between this and this element right now are pretty big. That's 62 pixels um, gap. And then this and this one is a 25 pixels gap, which is not bad at all, especially for tags and headings. And then between this and this, we have a 39 pixel gap. That's quite not bad. It just needs to be more even. And then this guy here is by itself. Um, and the gap between this is 36, which is almost the same gap as this too. So what I want you to think about when you're creating spacing within your elements is what belongs together, what elements when combined create an action. So this and this will help someone to click on this. If you have this and this together, then does that make sense? Is this being close to this make sense? Or is it this something that needs to be spaced apart from this? Because it's not as important as reading the headline and as clicking into this call to action. So let's move over to this here where I have sort of created a list of elements that I think belong together. So first of all, we have our get started um, call to action and we have the seven days free trial. This is super important because it's going to drive conversions into this one. Right, so we want to make sure that these two elements are combined and then we have our headings and then we have our text. And then here you will see that it does have a gap or a padding, top pattern. I just want to get rid of that for now. And now it even looks a little better because it is closer to the heading, to the headline, 
meaning that okay well now you can see how these two elements are grouped together or well, they should be grouped together because you're going to read the headline and then you're going to read the, t the text here right and then we have this guy here and i think overall this should be grouped apart from these four elements and then we also have this here now where it's it's important for it to be there but it is not belonging in this group so let's make this even better right so let's head over to our next screen and now you can see that we did the following so the first thing is that we combine the call to action with the seven days free trial. Now someone is going to most likely read this and be like, okay, I don't have to pay for the first seven days. So I can go ahead and click on this and get started for free. Um, the second thing I think someone will do here, or maybe this may be the second thing they might do. The first thing they might do is pick on this. So they now can see that this heading line and this paragraph are combined together and they are easy to read. And then they will look at this and they'll be like, okay, that makes sense. And then this should look at this and be like, okay, well, there's a 50% off for Labor Day, for example, right? So as you can see, we combine this by adding a gap of 24 pixels. So normally what I might do between paragraphs um, is about a 28 pixel uh, pattern or gap between paragraphs, um, between headlines and text. I, will, I like to do 24. It all depends on um, the design system that you're using. But I think this way, it gives the reader or the user a bit of a break while they are reading content. And this is also, again, one of the important things about using spacing throughout your designs. Uh, but now that we have all this together, right, we th I think we should probably even out things a little bit more so that it's easier for the eye to see. Um, so let's move over to here. And now that you can see is so I grouped everything. Um, and I use auto layout. You don't have to use auto layout. I will show you how to do it without this. Um, but I did it in a way that we can see how I have grouped everything and how I give everything a specific gap spacing to be able to make it more appealing and a better design. So let's jump into our auto layout. I have all my crazy layers right here. Um, but let's get started with the first thing. So my first, um, grouped was this part here was the heading and was the text why because that's the first thing i want to make sure that someone reads once they come into this website so this i gave it as a gap spacing of 24. they can also be sort of like pattern if you're doing like webflow or if you're doing flex it will be gap um just set it to 24 between the elements and that is because i want to make sure that these two are grouped properly and then i group these two guys here and for this, I chose 16. I might even go a little bit less than 16 because I really want to make sure that someone knows that they can get started for free for seven days for a seven days trial. In this case, I think this is going to be like a KPI that we want to make sure that we are targeting on this website. So let's lower it to eight and see what that looks like. I think that looks a lot better. It looks more connected to the call to action. And then what I did next is I wanted to see the space between my content and the call to action of what I want them to do next, and then be able to get them close enough where you can see that they are related, but they are not as related as the content itself or the call to action and the text below it. So for that, I'm keeping the 32 um, gap spacing. And then just to make things even, I want to make sure that my other um, or my secondary call to action here, which is inviting them to close on a price for 50% off, is also at that 32 um, pixels gap. Now this looks very, very even. And the next thing that I wanted to make sure that was even or had the proper spacing in this design was spacing between my navigation, my hero text, and my hero image. So for this, I'm leaving the navigation on its own because that's the space, that's the place um, where we need it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to select my navigation, then I'm going to click shift and I'm going to select the group that I created here or the auto layout component that I created here. And I'm able to see the spacing that I have here. That's 64, the gap is 64 pixels, that's great. Um, if you're not using like auto layout, you can also select a component and group, for example, or you can select like this. And then 
um, you click option or alt and you hover the um, top element that you have over it and you will be able also to see um, what the gap is without you having to do anything and you can do the same thing here right so as you can see from here to here this is 72 but from here to here is 64 I think if we even everything out it will look a lot better so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to select um, this group I have here and my image and now I'm going to see that I want this to be a 64 pixel cap and there we got it I think that looks quite clean it looks very easy to read you can see that there's enough spacing in the elements also most importantly these spacings are cool are consistent so it's not like you have like a random 80 pixels here and like a random 25 pixels here like how we had it before and then like 32 pixels here and then like 100 pixels here everything is quite consistent um, super easy to read and someone should be able to be come here to this website and be able to see one two three four elements uh, or the four more important elements that we want to show them <clears throat> so now I want to also take a look at where we started which is this one and where we're finishing right so you can tell a huge difference of this design versus this design and if you're thinking about design um, usability this will be way better to use this will be a much better user experience compared to this and the last thing I want to show you before we wrap up um, this video this micro lesson is how you can use this sign space um, spacing in your designs to be able to either create like a luxurious feeling per se versus some in tech where you might just want to be able to push more of a product you will see that the gaps are way 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 tighter than um, on this side for example so if we take a look at this you will see like space in between element um, paragraph and heading is 24 pixels but then between these two let's just do this you will see that I think it's 35 pixels then this and this is another 35 pixels it's still very consistent and then elements here we have 40 pixels and then between this and this is eight is what is 80 pixels so everything is super um, consistent throughout their designs here should be the same it's a little bit off um, but you can take a look at what other websites are doing um, one of the best examples is Google search um, they do have a lot when it comes to this but on this website um, I want to show you because they use a lot of spacing between elements and then they also use a lot of white spacing and I think they do that to be able to give you that quite luxury um, luxurious feeling um, space tends to give you that um, feeling and that idea or that idea then you can also see how they are using uh, images of filling an entire section and then you have quite a lot of padding like top padding um, it's like 168 most of the time in like this website it will be like 80 right because in tech you kind of want to fill up the website with more content as possible with as much content as possible where on a website like this you want to keep your con content to be very very meaningful and as little bit as possible because you're using images to um, create the experience so there you have it guys that's how you can start to use spacing to be able to create better designs improve what you're working on and make sure that the user experience of anything that you are designing whether it is a product or a website is always consistent and allows someone else to move on to the next step i will see you again in the next video